from the most watched station in West Texas. You're watching CBS 7 News, the breaking news and weather authority. CBS 7 Morning News starts now. Good morning to you. Happy Friday and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shelby Langraf in for Krista Escamilla. It is now just a little after 6.30 on this Friday morning, so we want to send it straight over to Craig Stewart for a look at our forecast this morning. Well, good morning, Shelby. Good morning, everyone. A Friday around the area. If you want to get outside where it's cool, now's the time to do it because you're not going to want to do it in the afternoon. There's a look at Presidio, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to switch this up. We'll take another look here at, at another area uh, in just a moment. Uh, well, let me find out what I'm looking for right now. And uh, there it is. We're going to show you Chase Bank as it's starting to get a little bit lighter outside. But there's what we have going on around the area. Current conditions outside Odessa right now. We're sitting at 77 degrees, 77 for Midland, 71 Big Spring. You've got 74 Andrews, 69 Mount Locke, the lower to mid 70s for Kermit and Wink. Pecos and Ford Stockton and the current winds around the area for right now for the most part out of the south at about 5 to 15. They'll pick up just slightly at about 10 to 15. It'll give you a little break from the heat that's going to be here and we'll tell you about that in just a minute. I believe if it's necessary we should uh, honor it. Uh, we need to do everything that's best for our community. Honoring those water restrictions, but those water restrictions in Fort Stockton are expected to be lifted today. That's according to the city's mayor. The, restrict, the water restrictions came after a storm earlier this week that caused a major power outage that kept the water tank wells from working properly. To the amount of water that was running everywhere, uh, the power trucks could not even get out there to try to service it. We are learning that the city of Fort Stockton is looking to get a permit for a water backup system. A proposal for this system is set to be presented to Pecos County in the near future. Well, from storms to hot, hot weather today, not just in our area, but across the state. And earlier yesterday, a child found in a hot car in Houston died from that heat. Authorities say the three-year-old was rushed to the hospital in cardiac arrest. He died yesterday afternoon. The Houston Police Department Homicide Division is now investigating. Tactical Force Team from Texas State University is arming our local officers with tools that will prepare them during an active shooter situation. The drills are all part of the Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training. It's better known as ALERT, that's with two R's. It was originally created after the Columbine shooting back in 1999. Instructors with the program travel around the country training federal and local law enforcement officials as to how to respond and care for victims in an active shooter situation. This time alert was held right here in the Permian Basin where training kicked off for FP, FBI, OPD and ECISD officers. Oh, it's great satisfaction knowing that you're out there helping the community that you work in and that's what we wanted. That's our biggest goal is to save lives, stop the killing, stop the dying, and help the community that we live in. Tommy Villanueva is an alert instructor who says he has experience on the police force before he became an instructor. All the different departments and agencies that participated in this training say they will also now conduct their own drills. Legendary Texas Ranger Joaquin Jackson died Wednesday night after a courageous battle with cancer. He was part of the Texas Rangers, which is the oldest or one of the oldest statewide law enforcement agencies in the entire United States. The Ranger also appeared in Hollywood films with actors like Tommy Lee Jones. Now in the midst of, the sad, of this sad time, one community is finding hope in memories of the beloved Ranger. CBS 7 Michael Esparza reports. Bells chiming in the peaceful town of Alpine remembering a hero who has now passed on. Uh, we ought to celebrate Joaquin's life uh, instead of uh, mourning him because I think that's the way he would have wanted. The late Texas Ranger Joaquin Jackson died of cancer at the age of 80 in his home surrounded by those who loved him most. Sheriff Dotson says he got a call from his wife Jewel late Wednesday telling him of the sad but expected news. And I got the call and, and uh, we responded out to his house. And uh, you know, the family, 
uh, you know, expecting it like it was. You know, it's it, it's a shock. A man who needs little introduction. Walking Jackson was six foot five, of tall, and he had a good old grindy, gruff, gruffly voice, and uh, he had a big old grin and a cigar sticking out of his mouth, and and you know, and he was the type of guy that never thought he was better than you. Will forever be in the hearts of those he inspired. 25 years ago when I met him, uh, you know, he taught me I was a young officer and he showed me lots of things. When you talk about him being a, a, a lawman, you have to also bring in now in his recent years, his acting career. Uh, I'll say I, I think he was a better lawman. <laughs> so. Jackson was an author, a Texas Ranger, a Hollywood star, but foremost, a family man, especially to the community of Alpine. Reporting in Alpine, Michael Esparza, CBS 7 News.